Okay, I talked about it in class today, so I'm going to go ahead and do this and show you. I'm going to call this maybe an advanced -ish skill, but it'll come through. I'm going to draft up real quick a quick wrench here. So I'm going to do that by just learning some rules that I don't generally do. And I'm going to go ahead and just click here and say something like at, I don't know, make it 5 feet by 0.5 feet. Zoom extents. Go This kind of idea of a fulcrum here, I'm zooming in and out. Zoom extents, and I'm going to zoom into that, and I'll right away get it on a layer that probably makes a lot of sense. Object, OK, get that the current layer, turn it on. You see that there. I'm going to go ahead and take this and change it immediately to the object layer, and I'm going to go ahead and do some left click left click spacebar C for copy take it someplace I'm gonna turn off my ortho someplace here I know I'm gonna left click left click spacebar B for base point shift right click mid between two points shift right click the midpoint of that, shift right click the midpoint of that. So I'm trying to show you that you can really get, need to get kind of tied up into your, and I'm going to go to here, shift right click, shift right click, mid between, mid between two points, shift right click, near, shift right click, near, and you'll realize that we'll always put that in the middle. Now I'm going to left click, left click, space bar, space bar, left click, left click, space bar, B for base point, shift right click, mid between two points, shift right click, shift right click, near, shift right click, near. What you'll realize is no matter what you'll do, you'll always get that and I'm going to go ahead and put that now someplace a little bit farther to shift right click I'm going to turn on my F8 here my ortho and now I'm going to rotate last at doesn't really do it for me but I'll go ahead with that I'm going to go ahead left left click spacebar take it down there and kind of think about all this stuff that you're doing but finally I'm just going to now go ahead and put a circle right in there and that's going to be my concept on off or whatever of my zero zero point so what we were doing today was we we're talking about learning how to do an offset through so I now I'm going to make a layer called force and I'm going to make that layer cyan and I'm actually going to for once change the line weight on the screen to something thick to convey something even though it has no width. I will set that to be current. And I will now go ahead and draft something like a force from someplace out near the end point of that, or better yet, the midpoint of that. Get that concept, turn off my ortho. And that concept of I'm pulling on that kind of lever with something in that range. Now what I want to do now is I'm going to show you how to change a user coordinate system. Not a good idea to do this too much, but I do want to show it to you. In other words, instead of moving your thing to zero, zero, you can move your thing, your zero, zero to your thing. You do that by saying UCS new, and then my new origin point is going to be the center of that, which means now if I say a line from zero comma zero comma zero, do it again, line from 0, 0, 0 at 100 at an angle of 0. I've got that. I'm going to left click, left click spacebar, spacebar C for copy, 90, 180, 270. Of course, these you remember are just our coordinates. So I'm going to go ahead and make a new layer called AXIS. No longer make that zero zero, make that thin if I would, or default, and change that to some layer that kind of fades through. 
So when I go through here now and do left click, left click, left click, left click, pull this down, do axis. I have the concept of what we are trying to do is that we have some force and we want to know its offset distance. So here's how we do it. Remember how you can do it is calculate the slope intercept and multiply by the constant of this angle. But otherwise what you do is say offset through, grab that, shift right click, and you can go through basically the center of that. See, so very often you would draft that and you would get that line there. That of course gives you line from near. And watch again, that kind of that sense of doing this, I'm gonna do an undo because I went too far, of thinking of the rubber band and then shift right click perpendicular to and then listing that last line. 2.9908 was in fact the moment arm. So then I'm gonna go ahead in some way, shape, or form, learn to select the object and right in that you see it's the moment arm of 2.88. So that essentially is the torque. If I now do this line from the end point of that to the end point of that and offset T for through, the end point of that and now do P edit, grab this, yes, J for join, one, two, three, four. That here, if I list the area, it will tell me what is the torque of that force. So it has a, a torque of 15.6351 foot pounds if this was in pounds and this was in feet. So that's how you go about doing this type of stuff. Notice how much the shift right click has to be natural, making layers is natural, and even that shifting of zero, zero on a recurrent basis um, to some natural rotation point. You never want to leave a drawing like that. However, you want to go UCS world and then say plan, and you're back to your zero, zero point down here with the UCS icon. So thanks for listening. Have a great break.